Hello, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Necessity breeds innovation. And in poor areas of the world, like the Congo, one of the best examples of such innovation is the chukadu. Chukadoos are essentially two-wheeled wooden scooters. While very simple in design, they are robust enough to carry heavy loads and withstand the rough terrain of the region. The Chukadu typically has a large wooden frame and two wooden wheels. The front wheel is directly attached to the handlebars, allowing the rider to steer. The body is often made from eucalyptus wood, while the wheels might be from a harder wood to enhance durability. For many farmers and other workers in the eastern Congo, the chukadu is a vital part of their livelihood. Enabling efficient transport of goods in areas where other vehicles may not be as effective or affordable. Building the chukadu starts with wood cutting. A simple wheel is shaped from a piece of tree trunk using a machete. After this point, the center is determined and bored out with a large nail. After procuring some eucalyptus wood, Chukadu artisans began fashioning the frame and other parts of the vehicle by hand. It is a long and largely haphazard process using a few measuring tools or other equipment if required. Once the wheel takes shape, a small wooden axle is installed in the center and secured with other pieces of wood. This allows a small metal cap to be placed on the end, which is what will help hold the wheel in place. Shaka, Muzaka, 
Wheels are installed into the frame of the chukadu by carving out a spot for the axle and then simply placing the wheel into the slot. Because wood alone can be easily damaged by bumps and road hazards, the Chukadu builders often place a ring of scrap rubber over each wheel. Sometimes the rubber is treaded to provide added slip resistance. Wheels often need additional trimming to acquire a perfectly round shape. Without the benefits of a lathe, this is accomplished by spinning the tire against a nail in the chukadu frame and then cutting it according to those lines. It's hard to overstate how vital chukadus are to the economy of the Congo, where the average income amounts to around 46 US dollars a month. Considering most chukadu builders are limited to scraps, nails, and machetes, the fact that the resulting vehicles prove so durable is a testament to their ingenuity. Many builders are even able to install brakes to help increase the overall safety of the vehicle. Handlebars are largely improvised based on what is available. Some even have small shock absorber springs to reduce strain on the front wheel. The average chukadu is about six feet long and can carry up to 1,000 pounds. Meanwhile, the largest models can carry nearly a ton. This makes moving essentials like water much more manageable and far more efficient than doing so by hand. But chukadus are not only practical, they have also evolved into a huge part of Congolese culture. The men who make them are revered around the village for the excellent service they provide to the community. Thanks to their creativity, people can move food, rice, crops, wood, and other essential products from place to place without having to purchase expensive scooters or automobiles. And 
Rwanda and Congo. A little help goes a long way. That's the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.